Thank you for helping with my mother's funeral. It was the final service we could provide Queen Lumera as stewards. <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. Come on, Fram. Think how hard this must be on the Divine Dragon. We gotta hold it together. I'm trying, but... <laughs> <sighs> Lumera... I never thought our paths would diverge so soon. Nor I. And to leave a child behind... I did that in death. A bitter memory. I vowed to protect your offspring in your absence, Lumera. If we could grant our power now... Marth, you know that's not possible without the other emblems here. Yes, yes, I know. This is awful. Sorry I couldn't have done... something. No, Prince Alfred. Without you, our losses may have been even greater. Though I must ask, why did you come? Was there something you needed? Our kingdom is in danger. My mother sent me to ask Queen Lumera for help. All over Firinae, our people are being attacked by these... these... creatures. Creatures? What kind of creatures? These things are like... people, but... cracked, almost crumbling. The Corrupted. Oh, so that's what you call them. Yes. Corpses brought back to life. No wonder they wouldn't listen to us. They just keep attacking everything. We sent our knights out to hold them off, but it's a losing battle. My kingdom is being destroyed. Divine One, will you help us? Please, come with me to Firinae. Me? What can I do? It was my mother's help you wanted, not mine. Queen Lumera is gone. You're the last Divine Dragon. We need the power of the rings to save Firinae. And only you can do that. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to press the topic. I'll return to Firinae. We'll do what we can. I'm coming with you. You will? I don't want more families to be torn apart. More people to suffer. Even if I'm scared, I have to push through my fear. Now that my mother is gone, it's my duty to step into the role of Divine Dragon. And if each kingdom is protecting rings, I take it Firinae has one, correct? That's right. Then I need to go there anyway to honor my mother's request. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. As the Divine Dragon, I officially accept the Kingdom of Firinae's request for aid. That's great to hear! Thank you, Divine One. Happy to help, Prince Alfred. Just Alfred is fine. I've been visiting you at the Somniel since I was a boy. I think of you as an old friend. A very, very old friend. I appreciate that. Actually, I can't remember anything from before I fell asleep. Nothing? This world is new to me. I appreciate having friends who can teach me about it. I'll do my best. Can't say I'll know much compared to Queen Lumera, but I'll try. Thank you, Alfred. We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a Divine Dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? 
Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a divine dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so... I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one, but don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings. Just as you asked. And then... I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are. Safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm? A piece of jewelry? I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground, in the Ring Vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait. It's familiar somehow, even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firne. Yes. You know... Ah! I've hit my limit for training today. Excellent work, Divine One. I brought a hot towel for your face. I think you will find it most refreshing. Thank you, Vander. That's very kind of you. I have also prepared a fresh change of clothes for you. When you change, deposit your dirty clothes into the basket, and I will wash them for you. I appreciate your generosity, Vander, but I'd prefer to take care of my own laundry. Certainly you have other tasks to keep you busy. My only obligation is to you, Divine One. Feel no hesitation in asking me for anything. But... It has been my duty to wait on you since long before you awakened. Were you to assume my duties for yourself, my position would cease to exist. So please, leave these trivialities to me where they belong, and trouble yourself no further. Again, I appreciate your willingness to help me. But I do feel a bit bad about all this. There is nothing in all of Elios to feel bad about, Divine One. Now I must insist you change out of your damp clothes before you catch yourself a cold. Distracting you? 
Well, you're not... not distracting me. Oops! Sorry, sorry! See, I'm here in my capacity as a president of the Divine Dragon Fan Club. I have a... fan club? Yep. Our mission is to support you. That's why I'm here giving you extra motivation. Huh. Thanks for cheering me on. But could you maybe not do it so close? You bet. I can stand back a little. Four, three, two, one. Who's our favorite dragon? You! You! Y O U! Ah, that didn't help. Right. Yes. If I may...
Here we are, the kingdom of Firinae. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to! Let's see... Firinae is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. We're known as, uh, Land of Plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm the Kingdom of Freedom and Brodia the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firinae. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elusia to expand his own territory. I take it Elusia isn't in the Alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Elusians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Elusia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Firinae? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firinae, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Oh no. The Corrupted. They're everywhere. I can't stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saline. I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe! You can't possibly expect me to... It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <sighs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with Her Highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's. Lord Sigurd, we go together.
Alfred! Saline? What are you doing here? I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusion army is marching on the castle. What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you have the emblem ring? Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're... awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. <sighs> the words... they're coming to me. Care for us, Emblem of Echoes. I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinae's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Celine. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get in. What's that? Monsters here? Gosh all, thanks for letting me know. Take this. Might come in useful. Yeah! We fight for peace! <laughs> Looks like I broke him. All right. Lend me your strength. I cannot afford to lose. As your steward. Emblem engage!
I am ready to serve. The Divine Dragon looked at me! Emblem Celica, it is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. With Selica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. Emblem, engage! I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. I am resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. This isn't so bad. I'm listening. Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. Houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old fashioned village pillage. It's the crystal. It's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Letho's castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but. Still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. I won't get lost. Yeah. Ah. 
Do what I must. I want to help you. There is nothing to fear. Princess Saline, how relieved I am to see you unharmed. Hmm? You seem... different. The Divine Dragon brought Emblem Celica forth from my ring. I am imbued with her strength. Pardon? The Divine Dragon is here? Indeed. I will explain everything later. For now, let us restore order here. I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair.
What's our move? Pretty weak. Ever after. We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easily remedied. Release the corrupted! Is it go time? Not forget your loss. It won't fall to Lend me your strength! to see you're all right you too princess saline i was able to find alfred and the divine dragon no less after that the divine one summoned emblem selica from within my ring 
A noble dragon summoning ancient spirits to save the day. That sounds just like a fairy tale. It does. Now that I have this power, let's give this story a happy ending, shall we? Let's do it. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the Princess of Pyrene. <laughs> I would fight by your side until the very end! Don't die! Have won, you know. If they'd given me real soldiers, 